Do you dream in chocolate? Taste the Lindor truffle. I am here to answer that question racing through everyone's mind in the grocery store. What products are good and worth my money? I answer this by buying new and interesting products and then recording my in-depth review so that you will know what you are getting. All of this in an attempt to bring it to you full circle. Good evening you two, Full Circle Review back here again with another review and I'm finally trying every single flavor of Lindor truffle. This is probably going to be a multiple part video, but right now I'm at the segment where I have every single one of them cut up and put out where I can try them. Like three Lint truffles is nearly, like sometimes like 180 calories, 200 calories. So I have them quartered so I don't kill myself today. Starting off with the sea salt, very creamy, buttery, I don't get any salt, almost an underlying caramel flavor, I wish the chocolate flavor was stronger, more up front, it's a very creamy milk chocolate, but it's very underwhelming, in my opinion this tastes exactly like what you'd get from Dollar Tree, a 68, no 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 no, 64 out of 100. Disappointing. Hazelnut. Again, very buttery, smooth, silky chocolate. Very mild chocolate flavor. Very light. I can tell that there is a hazelnut, a ground hazelnut paste flavor in there, but it's so mild that you could almost say this had no hazelnut flavor at all. I wish there was something crispy. This is just smooth like hazelnut butter. Very disappointing. 65 out of 100. Right, It gets better than the sea salt because I do get a little bit of flavor. But it's still underwhelming. So now let's try the coconut. Mm. Smooth. Buttery. The white cream filling with the coconut comes across as very sweet and natural and it actually makes the chocolate flavor seem stronger in comparison to the typical milk chocolate. So you get this nice smooth buttery milk chocolate and then creamy coconut. This is very nice. 92 out of 100. So now we're going to try Snickerdoodle. All their chocolates very buttery. Smooth. This just tastes like a regular white chocolate there's a hint a hint of like cinnamon cookie almost like a little bit of texture almost like what you get left in the bowl after eating cinnamon toast crunch it's very light very faint I wish that flavor was about 10 times as strong and then you'd have something going here because the creaminess and butteriness of the white chocolate is very nice 81 out of 100 their flavors are just very mild, but they did a good job. It's just the execution did not come across all that great. Still pretty. This is the chocolate peppermint. First bite into it, you think it's going to be too sweet. But then you get that mint, that peppermint flavor that comes in. Nice and clean. Comes across just like a thin mint. The chocolate actually tastes darker once you get that mint flavor. Cocoa comes across very natural, very clean. This is not chemically. This is not toothpaste. -y. This is, imagine, a thin mint, but super buttery smooth. No texture going on here. That's going to get a 88 out of 100. I wish there was a crispy aspect. I wish the chocolate was a little bit darker. 70% cocoa. It, it struck me as odd there for a second, but all their chocolate is a buttery truffle. So dark chocolate you expect to be crisp. This is not as smooth. It takes a second, but you get the flavor. It's a very nice, elegant dark chocolate. It's not bitter. It doesn't dry your mouth out. It's not overly sweet. It's just a buttery dark chocolate. It's like a, a texture slammed to the face. I never expected this. This is good. I would not buy it again. I prefer crispy dark chocolate. But if you like buttery truffles and dark chocolate, you're going to love this. 87 out of 100. I believe this is just the regular dark. Yeah. It 
it's just like the regular truffle. The chocolate's stronger. This is probably one of my preferred ones so far just because you get a good natural chocolate flavor. It's smooth and buttery and it's not super sweet like their regular truffles. Yeah, their, their dark is very nice. Um, 92 out of 100. I still wish that the flavor was more robust. It's just, it still seems like it's just underwhelming. I mean, like, I feel like they're holding themselves back. This is the white chocolate peppermint. Super smooth, buttery milk chocolate. Elegant, light peppermint. Perfectly intertwined. Get a little hint of vanilla. This is one of the best Lindor truffles I've had. 98 out of 100. They could only improve by making the peppermint flavor a little bit stronger and adding a little bit of crust up candy cane to make it crispy. Other than that, this is amazing. It's the regular. The original. The OG. You see, it comes across as so sweet and buttery. I just think it's like a cheap Palmer's chocolate that is a joke because, you know, Palmer's chocolate, it's so low on cocoa fats and cocoa, it, real cocoa solids that it comes across as a wax. This stuff is high quality chocolate. It's just so buttery that you don't really get that chocolate texture. And so you, you think that you're not really eating chocolate. This is just so light. 72 out of 100. I just, I need to be able to taste the chocolate. The texture is too buttery. I believe this is the caramel. It's a very light caramel. It's almost like you mix their super light milk chocolate with caramel. I made a truffle. Very light. It's a sweet, almost like ice cream sundae caramel. It's nice, but I wouldn't buy it again. I prefer a stronger, dark caramel caramelized flavor and a stronger milk chocolate. 71 out of 100. It's just, it's too sweet. A little underwhelming. This is the fudge swirl. I taste both the white chocolate and the milk chocolate. I wish the milk chocolate in this actually tasted like fudge. It just tastes like regular milk chocolate. I get milk chocolate and white chocolate. Don't really get a fudge aspect, but I do get a swirl aspect. Chocolate just needs a fudgy flavor. Milk chocolate's nice. This just comes across as too buttery. 74 out of 100. Again, it's... It's basically just the same as getting the regular 60% cocoa. Oh, that's nice. It's sweeter than the 70% cocoa, but I get a stronger cocoa flavor. It's natural. It's not bitter. It's not abrasive. It's just, it's caressing my tongue. It's smooth. This is good. 91 out of 100. Still wish for a stronger chocolate flavor, but this is very nice. I just, I think dark chocolate should be tempered. It should be crispy. This is buttery. That's my, mainly my only issue. It's a mouthfeel thing, but this is good. Hot cocoa. I would call that one waxy. Sticking to my teeth. Extra sweet. Less chocolate flavor. The cream on the inside has no flavor, it's just sweet. I get no hot cocoa flavor. Hot cocoa is uh, like a, a natural cocoa hot drink. Not Dutch processed, but it's like a hot cocoa. Naturally processed. All I get from this is just regular milk chocolate dulled down by extra sweetness. This is probably the worst one so far. 59 out of 100. Basically, you're getting less chocolate flavor, more sweetness. So all I see that is, is filler. Now we have the Dulce de Leche. Very light and sweet. Comes across a lot like their white chocolate. Not really a caramelized flavor. Imagine a light caramel syrup, like Hershey's caramel syrup mixed with white chocolate. 
It's a very nice white chocolate, but nonetheless, the caramel comes across as cheap, light, not a complex flavor. All these are very, very simple flavors. These are for people who like... You know, milk chocolate and white chocolate, that's all the chocolate there is. Very, very simple palettes here. This one, it's not, well, it's more buttery than the caramel, but the flavor is weaker. I have to give it a 69. It's just, I can't stand these mild flavors. I mean, this isn't cheap chocolate. Just the white chocolate. I would have liked a firm shell. Super creamy and buttery. Little bit of vanilla there at the end. Yeah, that had a stronger vanilla flavor. It'd be near on perfect. I wish that their truffle shells were crispy. If they tempered their shells, my word, this would be spectacular. Their white chocolate's a little too sweet. I almost get an underlying chemical flavor. But the vanilla is nice. 89 out of 100. Pretty good. But I've had better. Uh, I think this is the Stratocelia. Mmm. That basically just tastes like cookies and cream. You get nice little crispy bits with a little bit of cocoa flavor. Smooth, buttery white chocolate. Mm, that's nice. That's basically a Hershey's cookies and cream bar in a truffle format. A little bit more buttering, smooth. That's very nice. 91 out of 100. Just milk with white. I think this is the one they release each season. They just put a new character design on it. Yeah, just imagine their milk chocolate made sickeningly sweet with white chocolate. It almost comes across as chemical and artificial because of the extra sweetness. This is straight nasty. 49 out of 100. It's like there's so little chocolate flavor and so much sweetness. It literally tastes like I'm eating um, cocoa butter flavored sugar. This is the strawberries with white cream. Very sweet, buttery milk chocolate, strong strawberry flavor, just like a, um, a Nesquik strawberry. It's not really a real strawberry, it's an artificial strawberry, but it's nice. Good amount of strawberry flavor, very sweet combination of strawberries and cream. This is actually really nice. 87 out of 100. It would have been nice if it was a natural strawberry. Or even better if they use it use the uh, freeze dried strawberries that would have been magical but it's a pretty good strawberry flavor the neapolitan interesting you first bite into it you just get sweetness then you get a chocolate cocoa ness mixing with strawberry the vanilla isn't really indistinct but I would call this a good Neapolitan representation because you get chocolate. I guess you could say that upfront sweetness is vanilla and you do get strawberry. So it's all represented here and it comes across as fairly natural and clean. 88 out of 100. Neapolitan is actually really nice. I would buy that one on occasion. Now, uh, just uh, I'm going to do some video editing and figure out which one I rank these for y'all. And I'll be back in just a second. All right, we got the results. I'm gonna go from worst to best. Had 19 flavors in all. 19th place, milk with white with a 49. Followed by hot cocoa with a 59. Followed by the original caramel with a 71. Followed by original with a 72. Followed by Fudge Squirrel with a 74. Oh, I'm sorry, I just... Yeah, yeah, Fudge Squirrel with a 74. Snickerdoodle with an 81. 70% Cocoa with an 87. Strawberry White with an 87. Neapolitan with an 88. 
Chocolate Peppermint with an 88. White Chocolate with an 89. Stratocilia with a 91. 60% cacao with a 91. The um, just the regular dark truffle, the blue one, it got a 92. Second place was coconut with a 92, and first place is the white peppermint with a 98. There I have reviewed every single flavor of Lent Lindor truffle I can get my hands on. I know I only did 19. I know someone's gonna say, well, you know, in uh in uh, Peru they have this other flavor. Well, I don't have that. If you want to send it to me, send it to me. But I did what I could do, and trust me, these weren't cheap. Each package was like four dollars, and the seasonal ones were like six. So multiply that by nineteen, and you know how much I paid. But I hope you like this review. I'm gonna to try to do some video editing so it doesn't look terrible. But uh, if you want to see more long haul, buy everything and make yourself max out your credit card reviews. Comment down below, like, share, subscribe. Y'all take care.